Yarnabees, how are you today? Today, uh, I want to talk about a few things and I want to show you something I got in the mail. I am so, so thrilled and excited about this. Um, I was watching Tracy from I Love Loopy's Crochet. Love Tracy. Love, love, love her. She is so, she's so, she's so Southern. You know, and she's adorable and she is so talented, like so talented. Um, the stuff that she makes is amazing. Every time she makes something and puts it on video, I'm just like, you know, it's just one of the, <laughs> the colors that she does is amazing. She uses um, finer or thinner yarn than I do by far. Like that woman can, she can throw some thread, let me tell you. Um, <clears throat> so I'm always amazed at seeing what she creates because it's oh, so pretty. Her shawls are gorgeous. Um, so this one particular video, she showed some loveys that she made. And if you don't know what a lovey is, a lovey is um, a a little blanket that goes over top of a stuffy and it has a um an elastic in it that goes over the head so it just you know i'll show you in a second <laughs> so anyway she had some new ones that were go that went up in her shop and she was showing them <gasps> i tell you i just about jumped off my chair because my daughter, as you all know, I'm having my first grandbaby coming in December. And my daughter wants giraffes. Um, they used to call her giraffe in school because she was taller than everyone else by a, like a foot. <laughs> um, so that was her nickname, giraffe. So she wanted giraffes for her baby. So I made her um, a little teething ring with giraffe, you, you know, the, the horns that giraffes have and stuff like that. I showed them on a video before. She had a giraffe lovey. Oh, she didn't even get the words out of her mouth. And I stopped the video and was on her Etsy page and I was buying it. <laughs> so it came today. And let me tell you, she, the packaging alone just threw me because she packaged everything so wonderfully. I, I thought, huh, Sandy, you got to up your game, girl, because, <laughs> I just, wow. Um, so it came like this. Is this not adorable? Okay, that's not all. I opened this up and I was just like, oh my, really? So she sent me a card, first off. Whoop. And she had a sticker on the back that says, you are amazing. Thank you. I don't feel amazing. <laughs> She says, Sandy, thank you so very much for your order. I appreciate it more than you know. The, um, I think this little giraffe was so the cutest thing ever. I hope you like it. Loves and love you bunches, Tracy. I love Loopy. Look at this, you guys. And this isn't even the giraffe. Oh, look at this. Is that not cute? It came with a hanger. I was like, oh, this is so adorable. What is it? You go on the back and honey, it's a fragrance satchel, right? So you take it off the plastic, you open it up and you can hang it in the closet in the baby's room or you can put it in a drawer with the baby clothes and it smells like baby powder. Oh, you guys, I'm, oh, I'm going to try not to get emotional. Okay. Cause uh, this, it's all coming to, to 
the surface now. It's becoming a real reality for me because now we've had the gender reveal. We know it's a boy and she's starting. Oh. Whoa. My daughter Tia is starting to send me videos of the little kicks that she's feeling. Wow. I'm just <clears throat> having a real hard time with that. <laughs> real hard time because it throws me back. I remember the way that felt. And she's just like, oh, this is so weird. This is it. I'm like, honey, I know. Been through it twice. I it's it's the most amazing feeling, but the weirdest feeling, right? So she's going through all the emotions right now. And um so yeah. <laughs> so Tracy also sent this in the, in the uh package. It's a little emery board. And then it's got another little package. This is so cute, you guys. This is so cute. She personalizes these packages. I'll tell you. I'm telling you. Oh, wow. Look at this. Isn't that cute? It's a pin. I love that. It's so adorable. <laughs> And then look, you guys, this, this touched me. It's her card and she put a B on it. And then there's a little tag with it that said made with love. Whoops, right here. Isn't that the cutest? It's a stitch marker. We haven't even got to the lovey. <laughs> okay, you guys. Oh, here we go. Isn't this adorable? <laughs> look. Oh, it's look at the butt. There's the little tail. There's beans inside here. So it sits up. This is so cute. This is so cute. So it's got the, for those of you that don't know, there's an elastic on here. So this lovey comes off and on. Oops. The tag's stuck. So that you can wash this, right? Because you you know babies are going to be and chewing and, and stuff, right? And puking and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Isn't this cute? Oh, so adorable. So yeah, you just put it back on over top. I've made a couple, but yeah, I mean, I've got a bunch of stuffies over here that I haven't made loveys for. <laughs> I don't know what I'm waiting for, but isn't that the cutest little thing? I just love it. <laughs> so thank you so much, Tracy. So much. You touched my heart. You really did. Um, I mean, you're the best. You really are. If you don't know who Tracy is, I'm going to leave her link down below. And I'm also going to leave a link to her Etsy page because you guys, she makes amazing things. I bought a necklace from her. Actually, no, I didn't. I was going to buy a necklace from her and she ended up sending it to me for my birthday a few years back. And, um, it's, it's a beautiful necklace, right? So go check her out and um you go buy something from her because go support her channel because she is just a man they broke the mold on that one they really did she she is i can't say enough about her i really can't she's the sweetest woman i i mean just oh, go see go see <laughs> okay all right, so I'm in baby mode, you guys. I'm in baby mode. I found a pattern for a sweater. I have never made a sweater with a yoke. I've never made a baby sweater 
that's a pullover or had a yoke or I I made one baby sweater and that was oops oops that was this one okay um oh and I made a little hat to go with it um but oh I'm dropping things all over the place um these patterns intimidated the heck out of me I looked at all her patterns, loved them all, but she has charts and, you know, measurements and everything. She has it all laid out for you, but I couldn't for the life of me quite, I kind of got the gist of it, but I couldn't quite, me and math, no good. Uh, so the charts alone just intimidated the heck out of me. And so I never made any of her stuff. But I decided to just go for the gusto and instead of looking at the charts and the sizes of the charts, I just made what she made. The same stitches, the same everything, okay? Because, um, and I remember hearing this from Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. She, she doesn't, she can't, she just recently learned how to read patterns and she doesn't know how to read charts and all that. And, um, and what she does is she does the video exactly the same as the, like the people in the video are doing it. Instead of worrying about different sizes or the size that she wants, she goes and she does the pattern exactly like it is done in the tutorial. And then she figures it out afterwards. So that was ringing in my head. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to try that. I'm going to try it. So I did. And you guys, I'm addicted to this pattern now. Um, I love it. I will leave it linked down below. Uh, but you guys, and I've never put a hood on anything ever. No. Oh, Bailey, no. She has something to say about it. <laughs> I put little heart buttons on it and I put little bobbly things on it. I sewed those on really well, but oh, look at that. You guys, I am so proud of this. I really am. Um, I think I'm probably more proud of this project than anything I've ever made. And that says a lot. I love the color. Um, this was, oh boy, hometown? Or, mm, I have to look at the label. <laughs> but I just, I absolutely adore this <sighs> one thing I did know I made another one one thing I, I wanted to make a bigger one <clears throat> um, one thing I did notice though with this I, I used a 5.5 hook I think it was and it came out like really like a, a pretty dense kind of um, um, what do you call it? <laughs> like it, it's, it's fairly tightly, um, crocheted. The bigger hook size that you use, it's going to have bigger holes, right? So, but I just love this. Okay. So the second one that I made is this one. Okay. Um, but you can see that, oops, the holes are quite a bit bigger. 
All right, so this would be good for fall or spring. But you guys, it's so cute. <laughs> ah, I just love it. Love it. Okay, now, <clears throat> um, the thing I did want to say is I did the, the ribbing on the hood different. Okay. But she does like ribbing like, <clears throat> like this. Okay. And this is another thing, guys. I don't make ribbing like this on any of my hats or anything. But the way that she showed how to do this, I'm loving it. So I'm thinking, I may have to try that. <clears throat> so she made that ribbing on the hood and it's like that about that wide and then she just folds it over right i didn't really like the look of that so what i did was i did three rows of front post back post right then i folded it over on the inside folded it over this way and i stitched it along okay like i crocheted i found the the um the row this the first row that i did on the inside and i did a um, uh, single crochet row all the way around so it made a tube okay and then you can put your string through that tube and yeah smart right <laughs> so, kind of i don't know it turned out great though i love it it's very sturdy um so yeah so i love this it's i mean i just <laughs> i'm so happy with this you guys i really am and i'm very proud of myself and i you know I'm not, I'm, I'm not proud of myself very often, to be honest. Um, and I did it and I felt like this was a huge accomplishment. Okay. And these buttons, this, this is actual, this isn't just for show. This is actually functional. Okay. So when you put baby, put it on the baby, you have it undone. Right, so that it's a bigger hole to put the baby's head through. Right, so yeah. I just, I'm absolutely over the moon and amazed that I did it. <sighs> so, yesterday I went to Walmart. I had to go and do some grocery shopping. And something said, go to the baby section. I try really hard to stay away from the baby section, <laughs> you know, but now that we know what the gender is, I can do it all I want, right? Uh, uh, well, Tia's telling me like, hold back mom. And I'm like, no, <laughs> like, no. <laughs> so I went there and they had a big sale on their baby stuff. I guess they're getting rid of their summer stuff. And so I started doing a little bit of math and figuring out um, how old the baby would be come spring and summer and doing all this stuff in my head, right? They had baby shorts and t-shirts and stuff on for $2. And then they had other things like little track pants and stuff on for $4. I was like, gimme, gimme, gimme. Then I went to the tell, till, and some of it was a buck. I just about squealed in the middle of all this lineup and everything. I was just like, ah! so even if it doesn't fit the baby, who cares? It was a dollar, right? <laughs> so, okay. My daughter is really into camel, right? So, and so am I. I live in my camel car, uh, cargo pants for when I'm doing my skipping, skip the dishes. So I got these, which the baby's going to be able to go into like a year old or whatever. Right. 
So, well, maybe two years. I don't know. But anyways, the, I just thought these were the cutest things. And then I found these. <laughs> I thought they were cute too. <laughs> A buck. A buck. Like, really? So, baby's going to be in these for a long time okay well it won't be a baby by that time and then i got these little ones <laughs> i thought they were adorable oh, for a buck what can you think say you know like had to have it <laughs> then i found oops <laughs> this and it's got pineapples on it a buck yeah, okay. <laughs> so, so I thought that was adorable. And then, oops. And then we got this one. Oh, Bailey. We've got this one. It says Safari Friends. I thought that was adorable. And then this. Little turtle. This I just adored. Hang ten. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It's very neon. <laughs> You're not going to lose your child in this. <laughs> oh, I just thought it was so cute. And then I found a onesie. With little arms. Oh. And these, I just thought, I just love these. They got dinosaurs on them. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. And look, they got a little fly. Like, uh, you know, how guys have the fly in their pants. It's like... <laughs> It's like a fake fly, but it's there. <laughs> it's like, I know. So weird things just amuse me. <clears throat> and then I found these ones. Now, I could have picked up a lot more, but I didn't. I thought, whoa, ran it back. <clears throat> so, yeah. And then I found these spit up bib things. But look. <laughs> I'm new here. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <clears throat> we got animals. And <clears throat> there's stripes. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> I had cream in my coffee. Bad idea. So I just. I'm. <laughs> I'm see. Tia doesn't want like blue stuff, you know. It's obvious it's gonna be a, a boy, right? So she wants more neutral tones. Um, so I think I kind of whoops, George is trying to call me. Um, I think I kind of got it okay. There's a couple of wild colors in there, but you know what, whatever. <laughs> so um, yeah, so that's what I did, guys. I just I'm, I'm in baby mode now. Tia got a crib. They had a friend of theirs buy them a crib. They got the, um, it's the playpen with the pram in it. Um, for when baby comes, that's going to be the first thing the baby sleeps in. Um, they, I'm going to be getting the car seat. This car seat, guys. Oh. It's got a sensor on it, on the buckle, right? So if there's movement, it's attached to your cell phone. So if there's movement or anything, it go, it tells you that there's movement in the back seat. It tells you if it's been un unbuckled. It tells you if the baby's too hot. Um, like I was thinking, what do you need all that for? And then George just read a thing to me that broke my freaking heart. And now I understand. Um, it was about, <clears throat> excuse me, a grandfather 
who was taking the baby to, or the child to daycare. <laughs> Don't know what happened, but he, he thought he dropped the baby off and didn't. <clears throat> then went to work. The child was in a hot car for like seven hours and passed away from heat, heat exhaustion. That just, it ripped my heart. They, he, he, and he went to his truck like two times or two or three times to get something and didn't see the child. Like, I'm sorry, but how can that possibly happen? How can I, I guess it happens a lot more than I, I thought it does because they were putting stats up there and it just ripped me to shreds. I thought, my God, like, I was the most paranoid parent, right? I always had to have their hand when they were walking. I, you know, I made sure that they weren't any more than four feet away from me. I like, I was constant. Like I was almost, I wasn't as bad as my sister. My sister was like a helicopter parent for sure. But I was always worried. <clears throat> um, so This broke my heart. And I thought, you know what? It is worth the money for this car seat to have that sensor so that you have it on your phone and you know, you know, if you happen to leave the car and go into the store and you go, wait a minute, I'm missing something. And your phone bings and tells you, you've got the child in the car still. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. I will pay the freaking money to have a car, a car seat that will do that. Give it all the bells and whistles because I, I could not imagine being a parent or a grandparent and having your child pass away to something like that. Like that just, oh my God, how do you live with yourself after that? I... I hope to God nothing like that happens to me. Like brain work, brain remember. Like I, I, mm, um, that kind of stuff makes you freaked right the hell out. You know, like <clears throat> as a first time grandmother, I mean, as a first time mom, it was bad enough as a first time grandmother, <sighs> I, mm, 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 like, uh, uh, that child is going to be on my hip all the time, <laughs> all the time. So, um, yeah. So anyways, I, I'm going to get her the car seat and she doesn't feel like she needs to have a stroller right away, but you know, I'm going to have a stroller. Um, so, uh, yeah, she has no idea what she's in for, but <laughs> She's going to learn. She's going to learn. Uh, as we all did. So, yeah. So, I'm having fun, you guys. I'm having fun. And and I haven't got that much longer. She just finished telling me, holy cow, she's almost in her th third trimester. She says, Mom, I'm in the home stretch. Oh, my God. She's, like, starting to freak out now. She's like, oh, like, this is really happening. Like, I don't have much longer till the baby's here. I told her it was going to go quickly after, you know, once the second trimester is over, it's going to go fast. So <clears throat> that's why I kept saying, we got to get stuff going. We got to get stuff rolling here. We got to buy the crib. We got to buy all this stuff. And she's going, oh, we got lots of time. And I'm like, no, we don't. Now she's seeing it. Uh, so now at least she's got the stuff that she needs. I just need to get the car seat and we're good to go. We're good to go. So, yeah. So I'm excited. I'm excited. Uh, so anyways, guys, thanks for joining me. Um, thanks for all of your love and support. Uh, we really appreciate it. And I guess I will talk to you in the next video. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye.